Hi guys, um, today I will be showing you how to install Sumo Web 3D. Right, uh, let's get started. Uh, this is my Ubuntu, uh, the VPS server. Okay, this is a public server. Okay, as uh, you can see here, um, this is a public IP. Okay. So, and uh, this is the uh, instruction um, procedure. So, uh, first of all, we log in as a root user. Okay, uh, in this case, I am uh, inside my home folder. And uh, secondly, uh, we need to install these, uh, these packages. Okay, um, so uh, I think, okay, uh, in fact, I have uh, installed uh, all of them already, but uh, let's just uh, run it again. Okay, so after running this, uh, we need to get the source file of Sumo. Copy and paste. Okay, so uh, this is the name of the source of the tar file. Okay, and now we are going to unzip this tar file by using tar xvf. Okay, so um, now we have to export uh, the path uh, to the parameter sumo. Okay, so uh, when you unzip this file, it will create this folder. Okay, uh, so we have to uh, put this uh, path into the environment variable. So we use export and then sumo, uh, sumo home. Uh, this is the um, parameter. This is the value. Okay, so we will just uh, enter and it's done. Okay, you have just uh, placed this uh, path into the environment variable. And now we will just uh, go into this uh, sumo uh, 0 0.32.0 .0 folder. Okay, so now we are ready to um, compile. So uh, dot slash configure. All right, and now we do a make. All right, it is now compiling. This will take some time, so um, you have to wait for quite a bit. Okay, now the make action has completed. Now we have to do a make install. Okay, so now the um, sumo uh, base engine file is uh, compiled and installed in uh, on this server. Now we uh, cd uh, back to home and we need to download the sumo web 3d file. Oops, sorry, uh, it should be wget. Okay, 
Okay, W get this will download the file and now we have to unzip the file using tar then we go into the sumo file into the uh, we go into the sumo web 3d file cd and uh, let's list the contents uh, now we are going to edit this uh, setup.py okay so um, you have to change the following okay these two um, the uh, uh, these two items okay uh, package data um, originally um, you have this all right and you have to change to uh, a list that means uh, you put this string into a list okay same for the other three right so originally is just a string uh, you have to put them into a list that's all all right for package data and then for store for install requires um, you see this AIO HTTP right uh, you have to change this or uh, you have to add uh, by including a comma and a less than 4.0 okay so you have to add this version okay uh, more than or equals to 2.2 but not exceeding 4.0 the version all right so it is uh, install requires okay this is the install requires okay from this uh, you have to add this comma and uh, less than 4.0 okay just these two the package data and the install requires all right and after that okay let me uh, change this first package data okay we are done for uh, package data and now we go to the install requires and we have we add this comma and um, less than 4.0 okay so that is all you have to do and you save control x yes and enter okay so now you are ready to run sumo web 3d you type sumo web 3d okay sumo dash web 3d and then you enter okay so uh, it is successfully launched okay uh, don't panic when you see uh, 127001 okay uh, you in fact uh, this is just a display okay uh, actually inside uh, it is uh, already uh, publicly deployed okay inside is 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 that means uh, everyone uh, every outside uh, uh, destination and it can access it's loading okay so it is now um, successfully launched okay you see all the vehicles the cars here okay you can slow down 
you can slow down the speed of the vehicles um, okay you can zoom here so yep then zoom in zoom in okay yes uh, and you can choose uh, other cities For example, this is Toronto. Okay, so uh, yeah, it will take some time to launch uh, because the the this is uh, a lot of three uh, D rendering. Okay, and uh, just zoom in. You see the cars. Okay. So it's pretty cool, huh? All right. Uh, and I hope you have enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Um, so, uh, Give it a try and uh, goodbye and see you next time.